how they keep you poor. Yeah, there really is a they. I know you've heard about the Illuminati and all of the people that are in power, the haves versus the have nots. And yeah, it's true. There are truly people that have power, that have control, and they do want to keep you poor. I'm going to share with you all of the secret ways that they get this done and tell you exactly how you can avoid it so it doesn't happen to you. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you who they are that is trying to keep you poor. There really is a they, I'm gonna share with you who they are. Secondly, I'm gonna share why they want to keep you poor. Yeah, they exist and they want to keep you poor and I'm gonna share with you exactly why that is. And last but not least, I'm gonna share with you the biggest secret, five secret ways on how you overcome those in power to become someone in power. There are so many benefits to being rich and being quite honest with you, now that I am officially a rich person, a certified millionaire, I can truly tell you that there really is a have and a have not. And truly for many years, it took me a while to actually think that I could be a have. I really thought that once you were born a have not, that's the way you had to remain. But being quite honest with you, that is not true. I have taken myself from being in my parents' basement with bankruptcy, multiple foreclosures, bad credit, no job, uneducated, just the worst situation ever, to being a multimillionaire with dozens of property, millions of dollars, and earning millions of dollars per year. So yes, a normal, regular nobody can turn their life around from a basic person to the person that you see today. But there is really a process, and I'm gonna share with you some of the secrets that I learned when I was poor, when I was bankrupt, when I was getting, you know, just kicked on and, 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 and tore down by people that had more than me. And I'm gonna share with you some real secrets or some really great things that people told me and some really mean stuff that people told me that happened to be true. Let me tell you all of it. Let's talk about who they are. Like I said, they are trying to keep you poor and there really is a they. Now it's not some man in the sky, it's not Wizard of Oz, it's not God or Jesus or anything like that, but there really are people that are in power that have an agenda for you. And they had that for me, if you let them. And one of the ways that they get in with their agenda is by you watching the news. Oh my gosh, let me tell you about the news. So this is the first thing that you really need to stop if you ever intend on being rich. No more news. I had to learn this the hard way and I did not know this, but this right here is how they keep you poor. If you've ever watched the news channel, especially the local news, I'm not even necessarily talking about CNN or MSNBC. We'll get into those in a little bit later, but just talking about your local news. You know they say if it bleeds, it leads. So they're telling you about people that got shot, that got harmed, that got injured in some way. And those things start to affect your mind. You literally start to see the world as a bad place, as a negative place, and as a place that you should be afraid of. The news literally is designed for that. Psychologically, the way they tell you the stories, the order in which they tell you the story, and the advertisements that they show in between the news. Have you ever noticed how many different law and injury law firms will advertise during the news? Did you ever notice any of the other commercials about pain pills and medications and different prescriptions? Just watch the news. And not only is the news itself detrimental and the stuff that they're telling you, but also the advertising and the commercials that they advertise to you when you're watching the news. There's almost nothing in there positive for you. Even if they do a nice feel good story, guess what? None of the news was about you. And this is one of the things my millionaire mentor taught me when I was broke, bankrupt, and in my parents' basement. I literally had to pay for coaching when I had no money and it changed my life. One of the first things that my coach told me to do if I wanted to be a millionaire is I needed to stop watching the news. He told me there's nothing in the news for me. I had to think about that for a second. What did he mean? Yeah, none of the news was about me or for me. It wasn't anyone I knew. And even if it was somebody that I knew, nothing I could do about it. So guess what? There's nothing in the news for you. That is one of the ways they keep you poor. Now, let me tell you number two, because this is getting good. Number two, they want to keep you poor by you watching television. Yeah, so of course the news is on television, but that's just one of the negative things that you could watch on television. 
Watching television in itself really could have been number one because watching television is a big no-no for millionaires and billionaires. Literally, when I was on my journey to become a millionaire, I did not watch television for an entire year. Literally, that was one of the things that my millionaire mentor told me that I needed to give up. And guess what? He was right. Because guess what? Think about television for a second. Not only is it a big time waster, you just sitting there watching television, you're not necessarily doing anything to make you money, but more importantly, the messages that you're getting from television are not those of millionaires and billionaires. Just think about it for a second. Have you ever seen a Rolls Royce te television commercial? Hmm. Have you ever seen a Lamborghini television commercial? Hmm. Probably not. You know why? Because millionaires and billionaires that buy Rolls Royces and Lamborghinis don't watch TV. Yeah, think about that for a second. So if you are someone that aspires to be a millionaire billionaire and you want these things, then think about it. How come they're not advertising on television? Well, that's because millionaires and billionaires don't watch TV ads, so they don't waste their time with those commercials. So start being different and stop watching television. Let me get to the next one because this is getting good. Number three talking about other people, otherwise known as gossip. This is a big no-no. My millionaire mentor told me no gossiping. You do not gossip about other people no matter what. I don't care what that person is talking about. I don't care about what scandal. I don't care what the president, the vice president, the prime minister, I don't care what they did. Do not waste your time gossiping and talking about other people. And I'll tell you why. It's because it serves you no purpose. Talking about other people don't do anything for you. It doesn't add any money to your bank account. Talking about other people, unless that's your business and something that you've decided to monetize, is probably not something you should waste your time doing. Additionally, talking about other people is a karma. There's a karma attached to that. So if you're always talking about other people, especially if you're talking negative about other people, guess what's happening to you? People are talking negatively about you and they're talking about you. So if you become a person that does not even have the time, okay, not, not, not let alone the energy and the effort required, but you don't even have the time to talk about other people when you are becoming a millionaire billionaire. And one of the things that I make sure to do is I do not talk about other people. Yes, there are other people that have decided to talk about me and I don't care. I'm a multimillionaire. I have no time to waste making videos about other people, making blogs about other people, coming up here talking to you about them. I'd much rather talk to you about how you become a millionaire so that it helps me and we all win. That is why I am here. That is the purpose of being a multimillionaire. And more than anything, that is how you become a happy multimillionaire. Let me get you the next one because this is getting crazy. So send me a super thanks. Comment below and let me know how you're loving this content. Give me some super thanks and let me know that you're enjoying this content and provide me with the funds to keep making this content just for you. Those who send me super thanks are my best friends. They give me the best comments and they let me keep making this content just for you. So hit me below with a nice super thanks. Friends that are poor. Yes, that is the number four thing that is holding you back. And they, you may not know it, are your friends. It is your friends that are keeping you poor. And the reason why they want to keep you poor is because they are poor. Now, there's no malintent. They're not trying to pull you down. I know we've heard all these sayings like crabs in a barrel and this type of thing, but just think about it. This is really not about intention. This is really just about like-minded people thinking like-minded. So if you're a person that thinks poor, that's always complaining, that makes lots of excuses, guess what? Those are the type of people that you are attracting to you. You're going to have those same conversations about negativity, complaining, and making excuses. So if you have friends that are poor and have negative poor mindsets, I don't just mean poor in their bank account, but I mean poor in their health. I mean poor in their mindset. If you are friends with those people, guess what? They too want to keep you poor because that's where they are and like attracts like. So again, if you are trying to elevate yourself and you're saying, I want to become a multimillionaire and I want to do the things that you did, Noel, well, guess what? I had to get new friends because my friends that were poor were also trying to keep me poor. Not because they hated me, just because that's where they were in their life. Number five, working a job. Oh my gosh. I know I'm going to get tons of comments about this one. I am not salary shaming at all. But if you are someone that is working a job, please know that your employer would like for you to stay poor. They would not want for you to get rich and quit their job. They literally 
make money off of you. So if you work for someone else and you're an employee and you're punching in and punching out and you're realizing that you're not getting to millionaire status, well, guess what? That's the way it's designed to be. Working a job is designed to keep you poor. You cannot create an unlimited income. You cannot create time freedom when you have a job. If you work for other people, then you are bound by them for how much money you can make. You can get laid off. They decide if you even have a job. So there are so many things that are holding you back with a job. Trust me, I used to work a job. Let me tell you really quickly. I used to work at banks like Corporate America Banks, like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase. And I was climbing the corporate ladder and really trying to get up there with my income. And I did get up to six figures, but I never got to seven. And guess what? I never owned my time and I surely did not have any freedom. I had to be at the job when they told me to be. I had to travel all the time and I definitely worked more than 40 hours. There was no way I ever was going to get to millionaire status with my corporate job. Now, they did give me some great skills that I took into being an entrepreneur. And the answer to all of this, to all of these things, once you cut out the news, television, gossip, friends, and you get rid of that job, you're going to replace that with your own business. When you are a business owner, you change everything about this whole situation. And that is truly how you can get rich. If you're somebody that works a job, you're never going to get rich. I mean, I love you to death, but it's just not going to happen. You're going to have to take some risk. And this is risky, but guess what? With risk, there is a reward. If you have no risk, like here, working a job every two weeks, getting that paycheck, then guess what? You're probably gonna be safe, you're gonna be fed, but you're never going to be rich. So let's talk about how you do that. How do you go from working person, someone that watches TV, maybe watches the news, maybe watches a little bit of television, doesn't mind gossiping with their friends and works a job? <laughs> Welcome to old Noel. So how did I change that? Well, simple answer. I got very serious about owning my own business and I started stepping into who I was. Stop being afraid of coming out on YouTube or coming out on social media or telling people what I did or asking for business or wearing shirts that I now sell. Again, click below if you wanna buy this shirt. Again, not being afraid to be me and not being afraid to promote me and my business. If you can get past that, you will get to that next level. And I have some ways to help you out. So I have the perfect way for you to go from working person to entrepreneur in one weekend. I'm gonna teach you how to launch and fund your business in just one weekend. Go to noelschallenge.com. I'm gonna do two full days of training where I teach you live from start to finish on how to start and fund your business in just one weekend. You truly can create a million dollar business in just a weekend and I'm gonna share with you how. Go to noelleschallenge.com. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E -E with an S, challenge, C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E, noelleschallenge.com. I just wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.